Hello, and welcome to Facebook, More Than a Bulletin Board. Let's get started. First, what is Facebook? Facebook is a very popular free social media tool that allows registered users to create profiles, upload photos and videos, send messages, and keep in touch with friends, family, or colleagues. Facebook is the largest social network in the world. Therefore, if you're interested in being involved with social media, Facebook is the priority place to start. So, how can you use Facebook? For starters, create a Facebook profile. As you can see, this is Dr. Skies. I encourage you that if you're going to be using Facebook, especially for hack purposes, that you would connect with a president on Facebook. He is very engaging and very involved. As you notice, it's his profile, his headshot, his name and articles that he wants to share. Now, a Facebook page. It isn't a person. It's actually for an organization, a business, or school. Therefore, you'll notice this does have the hack logo, has the branding, and it shares different statuses from around the college. With Facebook pages, we encourage our users to not use the word I. I like this article. Why? Because you're speaking on behalf of the college. So, Content administrators for pages would use a more general we because you are speaking as the college. Last, we have Facebook groups, and they are an excellent way to really engage in a community-like setting on Facebook. There are many differences between groups and pages. A page, which we just saw, is meant to be more of a broadcasting platform, although you still want to engage with your fans, ask questions, respond. But groups are meant for equal collaboration or discussion amongst a group of people who are interested in the same thing. Now, Hack has a lot of Facebook groups and pages. You can find these at hack.edu slash social hyphen media hyphen resources dot cfm. If you'd like to create a profile on Facebook, you can create that yourself. Again, that will be your page, not the college's. Therefore, no college logos or branding should be used. However, please upload a headshot. People love to see who you are and make it truly yours. For a page or a group that would be on behalf of the college, we request that you fill out the communications hub on the new my.hack.edu web portal. The Office of College Advancement team will be happy to help you determine if a page or a group is most appropriate for your need and help you set up your page so that it is compliant with AP 901, the social media policy for the college. Now here is a page. This is the main Hack Central Pennsylvania's Community College page. It is the umbrella of all the pages, and this has a great following. As you can see, it has 6,040 likes. It shows all sorts of different aspects of the college. How is that possible? Well, the content administrators for this page share because social media is engaging. This photo and post was shared from Hack Health Careers. People love visuals. Photos get so much more interaction than just text. People want to see themselves, tag themselves in a photo. Let's say I was in the audience of this photo. I could tag myself. Oh look, here I am. Type in my name and tag myself. That is a great way to build engagement. If you post a photo, ask people to tag themselves. Again, remember, social media is not a bulletin board for announcements. If every post that you make is, come to this event, check out this course, be involved here, you're missing the boat. Ask people what they want to hear. Share articles from other pages. Interact and engage. Facebook is so much more than just a bulletin board. Here's another page. This is the Health Careers page. As you can see, they do a great job at sharing articles, photos, events. They shared this event from the Hack Massage Therapy page. What if we'd like to share their event on the Hack Central Pennsylvania's Community College page? Because I like this page from my personal profile, and I'm an administrator on the Hack Central Pennsylvania's Community College page, I can share this information on that page. I could also share it to my personal profile if I chose. So let's go and share. I would choose to share on a page I manage. I'm going to scroll down and select Hack 
Central Pennsylvania's Community College. Now you'll see it says that I am posting and sharing as Hack Central Pennsylvania's Community College. So if you, as yourself, log into Facebook and you find these pages from the Hack Social Media Resources list and like them, you too can share these posts or share information with these pages. Here are some helpful tips. First, keep an eye on your insights. You can find that here, whether it's page likes, post reach, or engagement. Always keep an eye on your notifications as well. This will tell you if someone commented or liked your photo or even shared it. That way you know where you're engaging or where you need to comment back. If you have a Facebook page on behalf of the college, check your Facebook page one to three times per day for engagement. Ask your followers to leave you a review and allow three hours between posts or your posts will end up competing against each other. Let's do an example of how we can share and tag and engage using Facebook. When I'm at the computer, one of my favorite things to do is put my posts into Word before I actually put them into Facebook. This does one of two things. You have spell check, so there are no errors, and it also allows you to plan out what you want to say. I would like to put these three posts on Facebook. This the day after commencement, two days after, and three days after. So the first way I'd like to engage on Facebook is to ask a question. Let's encourage individuals to go to our Flickr page. Here's the commencement album on Hack's Flickr site. I really would like to encourage individuals to share these photos on their personal Facebook profile pages and tag themselves. So I'm going to copy the URL and put that in my Word document. Now, you'll notice when I copy and paste this, into Facebook, it will automatically load a photo from that set. Again, I am set as Hack Central Pennsylvania's Community College because I'm an administrator on this page. I don't want to post as me, I want to post as the college. Last but not least, let's tag another entity of the college in our post. Let's say I want to encourage our virtual learning students to tag themselves in our commencement photos. I would paste this in here, and then I would use the at symbol and type in hack virtual learning. Because I already like this page as me, I can tag it and then hit post. And those are three great ways to engage using Facebook. So I encourage you to get started. For more best practices of Facebook, you can go to the Office of College Advancement channel on the home tab of my.hack.edu. Under social media, you will see Facebook best practices listed. Enjoy engaging through Facebook. It is a wonderful tool that is so much more than a bulletin board.